Hello and welcome to MIDI's Tech Circle. In today's video, I want to show you some useful tips how you can um, optimize the One UI um, OS running on your Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, Note 9, and basically also all the other Samsung phones which are receiving the One UI. Also, some of these tips are related or can apply to um, the Oreo, so to Samsung Experience 9.0 and 9.5. So yeah, let's begin with some basic things here. So the first thing I want to show you is in the device manager. So you go just to the device manager. I have here a widget for that, but you can also go simple, simply to the device manager by going into the settings app. Then you scroll down a bit until you see device care. Then you tap on this and basically here you can get a dashboard on, um, yeah, to see how you can optimize your device. So you can see it's checking. That's basically also a bug um, in the device care application cause it's stuck at 95% for a really long time. So I think after 30, 40 or maybe one minute, it just shows you um, the standard. So um, the overall score of your phone. So yeah, down there you get many different um, options or let's say categories. So you get first battery as a category, then storage, memory and security. So here you can see it has finally um, scanned the device and shows you that my device standard or my uh, device score is by 100. So it's excellent. Um, it doesn't need any optimization. Under battery, you can see which apps are draining how many battery. You can also change it from one week. Then you will see the um, statistics from one week, what app uh, cost you the most battery loss within a week. Then you can go to battery usage and basically see what your um, battery usage looks like. So, um, for example, here you can see your screen on time and again, which apps has used most of your battery. You can tap here on the free dots on the right top corner to hide OS and system apps. So we'll basically just see all the um, apps, not from the operating system and also things like screen on time won't be shown then. So yeah, that's pretty um, useful. Then under storage, you can uh, see or get, get an overview um, from which category um, most of space of, on your phone is used. So documents, images, videos, audio, apps, themes, and also app data. So WhatsApp, of course, is taking uh, much from your storage because of all the files you have, the videos, photos, voice memos, and so on. You can clean now. So this will clean unnecessary data. You can also see here in, uh, in the top here, it says unnecessary data, 140 megabytes. So yeah, then you can clean this up to get a little bit more of um, storage. The next thing is uh, memory. So this is for your RAM. Um, yeah, to check how many you have free. Also, um, yeah, you can view more and see all the system things which are using how many uh, of your memory. And you can also clean now up some memory. So this will close really all these services which are running in the background. And by cleaning now, I could free up 937 megabytes, but I won't do that because this will um, drain in fact much battery, much more battery, because when I will use these apps again, my CPU has to work more because it's not in the background anymore. It has to start all the processes again. So that's also my next tip. Don't close every app. Okay, so I closed it because I changed the language of my phone and to not get any weird, weird things going on, I closed everything for you for this video. So normally I also don't cl close any um, app I will use potentially later that day. Um, except for games, games I'm closing, I don't know why, um, but yeah. But apps, you can just really 
let them be opened or running in the background. Android will automatically close them when it detects that you don't need them. So um, yeah, I, I know it's a habit for many of you. Um, it was also a habit for me to always close every app, but don't do it just. Uh, your phone will be fine and your battery will in fact last some minutes longer at the end of the day. Um, no, I didn't want to open Twitter. And then we have here a category for security. So this will just scan your phone. Uh, I think, I don't know if it's uh, scanning your phone every day, every week, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's to scan if you have any potential threat uh, on your phone. Um, oh, but miss shit, we go back to the device care. Okay, so here on the three dot menu, you have many drif different options. You have first auto optimization, auto restart, app issue history, app I and then hide icon on app screen, contact us and about device care. So we want to take a look at the first one, which is called auto optimization. This is a default uh, setting here. So this is turned on by default in One UI. So what this does uh, is that it cleans up your phone every night. So um, that's really doing this every night when you're not using your phone. And the uh, standard time is 3 a.m. So when you're basically sleeping. And this will close all your background apps and free up your space. Unnecessary files will be deleted. This is like if you would do it manually over the device maintenance, you know. This is doing the same thing automatically every night. So basically you don't really need uh, during the day to check on the device maintenance if you need to optimize the device because it's doing this every day at a um, scheduled time. So this is pretty good and should um, help you to have a fast phone and um, yeah, just let this enabled. It's good for your phone and you will be um, taking advantages from that. The next thing is auto restart. This is nothing new. This was also there in Nougat and in Oreo. So um, Samsung has this feature um, yeah, a little bit longer in their OS and here you can now set but this is something uh, they have changed something here I mean because now you can set so many days basically you could do this all day yeah so you can do this Saturday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday so you can do this really all day that it will restart at a scheduled time to um, really then um, close everything restart all the processes so what I basically do I let this on maybe Wednesday and uh, yeah Sunday let's say so that I have this in the schedule or Sunday and Tuesday so that um, I basically always have two or three days in between so that's also a setting I really recommend to you but for this setting your sim card lock has to be off, your battery has to be over 30%. The phone shouldn't be used because when it's detecting you are using it, it will not restart and the screen has to be off to, um, yeah. So that feature should work under or just work under this condition. Then you have the app issue history. You see which app um, crashed on which time or had any issues. So um, yeah, that's also giving an overview on which app is causing any problems and um, yeah under battery you have also something I want to show you under settings you have here the adaptive battery so this is a feature of Android Pi which is learning your pattern usage pattern and optimizing your phone and services by learning how you are using your phone then put, put unused apps to sleep this is there since Android uh, Oreo and what do we have there? Sleeping apps. So this shows you basically the apps which are in standby, which were put in standby um, because you didn't use them for a long time. And um, then you have something called optimized settings. So here you can check the brightness, screen timeout, media volume. So this will be applied at midnight. But the thing is you can't change, for example, the brightness, the screen timeout, the media volume 
right now. I don't know if this is an unfinished thing here and Samsung has uh, to work on this feature because basically you can't change any of these things here. So this is annoying because I would really use this thing if th this would work, but you can't uh, set the brightness, screen timeout and media volume by yourself. So this is pretty unuseful for me. Then I have one golden trick or setting to change for you so that your um, that your battery will definitely last longer. And this is by going under connections. Then you scroll down to more connection settings and turn off nearby device scanning. So this work also on Nougat and Oreo and this will really definitely save a lot of battery on your phone. So um, really this will help a lot because um, then it's not scanning all the time with Bluetooth in the background for devices and so on and also not using Wi-Fi in the background even if it's off. Um, and also the microphone will then not be actively running in the background to search for any device. So this will definitely help you to um, improve your, um, yeah, your battery life. So that was it. Um, these were my um, major tips to optimize and to enhance the experience on your Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus and how to, uh, so that the device will run at the best performance over many time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and you can also leave a comment down below to, um, yeah, to request anything you want to see about the One UI. I will definitely do a really high detailed video about really every feature of the One UI really soon. I also got many comments which feature they want to see or which changes they wish to see. So leave them also down below in the comment section. Yeah, so that was my video on how to optimize your Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, Note 9, and basically every other Galaxy which will get the One UI or already has Oreo. So some things also apply to Android Oreo and Nougat. So yeah, have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye. Oh,